BNP Paribas, one of Europe's largest banks, reports results for the first quarter of 2013. Jean-Laurent Bonnefet, welcome. Hello. You are the CEO of BNP Paribas. What are your comments on the group's performance in the first quarter? The first quarter, BNP Paribas reported a net income at group level of 1.6 billion euros, despite a challenging economic context in Europe. I remind you that the first quarter 2012 represented a high comparison base and also included significant one-off elements such as the sale of stake in Clépierre. This quarter, the impact of one-off items was negligible. Revenues of the operating divisions were resilient in retail, banking and investment solutions, while CIB had a transitional quarter. Operating expenses were reduced at group level, especially in CIB, in personal finance and in the domestic markets. Cost of risk marked a slight increase at 3.5% in the first quarter at group level, confirming our strong risk management. Overall, pre-tax income of the operating divisions decreased by 8% as compared with the first quarter 2012, still negatively impacted by the effects of the adaptation plan on CIB. Deposit growth continued in all the networks with the domestic markets and retail overall showing growth rates above 6% compared to the first quarter last year. In parallel, corporate banking deposits in CIB increased by 14%, reaching 57 billion euros at the end of March. In the first quarter, BNP Paribas confirmed very strong solvency and liquidity positions. Our fully loaded common equity tier one ratio under Basel III stood at a very high 10%, while we further increased our surplus of stable funding to 79 billion euros. Finally, we continued to create value for our shareholders. In fact, our book value per share continued to increase steadily, reaching close to 62 euros, while the tangible book value per share exceeded 51 euros.